Ugh, right in my eyes. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Lindsay and I bring you content on clean beauty and skincare. If you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you. Today's video is going to be a first impressions on the new Clove & Hollow Press Pigment Palette. I'm really excited to try this out, so let me get right into it. Alright guys, let's get started. First off, I'm going to put on the Clove & Hollow Conceal and Correct Concealer just on my lids. I'm going to set it with a powder just because that's what I would usually have on my lids when I'm doing eyeshadow. So I just wanted to test them against like how I would do my normal makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Alright, got the concealer on. Let's move on to the eye palette I'm testing out today. This is the Clove & Hollow Sunrise Pressed Pigment Palette. This is the packaging that it comes in. Let me open it up. Clove & Hollow is vegan and cruelty free if you didn't already know that and they make really affordable makeup which is awesome. When I saw this palette I was really excited to try it out because it is a lot of warm tones and I feel like there's not a ton of warm tone palettes in the clean beauty space. So when I saw this I was really excited to test it out. It's also pretty affordable. It is $32 and you get 6 eyeshadow shades which in terms of like clean beauty eyeshadows is on the affordable side. These are what the shadows look like. I'll do a swatch on my hand and then I'm going to do a look using these. So those are all the swatches on my hand. I will zoom you in so you can see closer up what the shades look like. So on the top here we have all these shimmery shades. We have a white frost, a like lighter pink shimmery shade, a rose gold, a regular gold, and then on the bottom here this is the matte orange and then the matte dark brown. So first off the packaging is pretty nice. It's just like your traditional paper palette. I do like how it has a see-through cover so you can see what shades are in there. That's really helpful, especially if you have a lot of makeup, you can see what's in the palette. So these are all these shades up close. I'm going to go ahead and start with the matte shades in my crease. So I'm going to start off with this like matte light brown that has a very like strong orange hue, which is probably one of my favorite colors to put in my crease. So I'm excited to see how this works. So I'm just going to get like the usual amount I do on my brush and see how it works. Okay, so the pigment so far, they are really pigmented. It's blending out pretty nicely. Let me go ahead and do the other eye. As I was swatching the shadows, they do feel really velvety and almost buttery. I didn't have any trouble blending it out. Blended out really nicely in my crease. So far, I like it. That was kind of just like a nice base transition color. Now let me go into the dark brown and see how this one blends. Usually darker colors are pretty hard to blend out, so if this blends out well, then we'll be good to go. <laughs> I'm just taking the same brush and doing that like more precisely in my crease. So this one's not blending out as nicely as the other one did. Maybe just because where I'm putting it. Let me try the other eye. So I feel like that dark brown was maybe a little bit patchy to blend out. So I feel like that did blend out pretty well. It was a little bit patchy at first, but now that I'm blending it more, it is kind of just like smoothing itself out. So I'm happy with that so far. Those are the two matte shades. I'm actually going to take this same like warm orange shade and just put that in my crease again just to like um, amp up the color. So those both blended out nicely so far. I'm impressed with the matte shades. And I'm just taking that same shade I've been using and I'm going to run this under my lower lash line. Alright, now on to the shimmer shades. I'm going to take the lightest one right here, which is basically just like an off-white. And I'm going to do that on my brow bone and my inner corners. Ooh, that's so pretty. Love that. Alright, I'm going to bring it on the inner corners now. Alright, that white shade is really pigmented. I love how it looks on the brow bone. It's really shimmery and went on... It's really shimmery and went on really smooth and kept its pigment. I feel like with some white shadows, they can kind of just like dust away when you put them on your face. But so far, I'm impressed with that one. 
Next, let's see. I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna use the other three metallic shades in one eye look. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take this like rose gold shade and put this onto my lid. I'm gonna try using my fingers for this shade to see how it applies compared to a brush. So this one's really pigmented too, just like the um, white one I put on my brow bone. It's so pretty, I love that shade. It's like a really muted rose. So using these dry, they are really pigmented. So far, I'm really enjoying them. I think they are super pigmented. They blend out well. I haven't had any problems with like excessive fallout or not blending well. The brown one was like a tad patchy, but when I kept blending, it smoothed itself out. So I'm actually going to use this lighter pink toned metallic shade. I'm going to use it wet to see how they perform. And I'm just going to put this on the center of my lids. That's so pretty, guys. All right, they work really good wet. It's like so metallic looking. So that's the lighter pink shade on the center of my lids. I freaking love these so far. That was really pigmented and wet. It was just like bang, really metallic. I don't really have any shades that are this metallic. So I'm excited to have these in my collection now. Now the last shade is this gold shade. I love gold on the lid, but I thought I would try those out on my lid. So for the gold, I'm going to take it like right on my lower lash line, but towards the inner corners just for like a pop of warmth. I think that'll be pretty. So I'm just taking a really tiny precision brush and I'm going to go in with the gold and put it on my lower lash line. So that's the gold shade right there on the inner parts of my eye. I really like this shade. It's gorgeous. So those are all the shades on my lid. I really like how this look came out. I feel like it's a really cohesive palette. Like you could use all of these in the same eye look like I did and it still looks very cohesive and not like you just threw something together. All the shades are warm toned. I think the shimmers and the mattes are both gorgeous. I kind of wish this palette was bigger because the shimmers are amazing and I kind of wish there was like another matte shade, maybe like a lighter matte for like a matte brow bone highlight. But uh, so far, really loving these. I'm actually going to take the matte brown again and smoke it on my lash line for a little bit of like a smoky liner look. So because these are pigments, I thought they would have like a little bit more fallout than a traditional shadow. But honestly, I haven't had like any fallout under my eye yet, which is pretty amazing. So the eyeshadow look is complete. I like how it came out. It's definitely like more metallic shades than I would use in one look, but I actually really like the like glowy lid look it's giving me. I really love them. I'm actually curious, like I want to use these as highlights. I think that would be really gorgeous. If you have like deeper skin, that pink one would probably be pretty. Maybe I'll put them on my face. Should we do it? Let's do it. <laughs> so I'm actually going to take this like second lightest metallic shade and use it as a highlight. I do already have a little bit of highlight on, but I just wanted to see like how it would work on the face. I'm going to tap off a lot of it though so we don't get too much pigment. It's really pretty. So there you go. They also work as highlights. I'm just going to miss my face with this Haynes Dotier. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Ugh, right in my eyes. Alright, let me go ahead and finish up my eyes. I'm going in with the Thrive Cosmetics. What's this called? Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is like my favorite mascara at the moment. We have it, the eyes are complete. Now for my lips to continue on with the Cloven Hollow trend. I'm gonna use the lip cream in the shade Desert Rose. I love this formula. It's really hydrating, really creamy. I mean, it doesn't last for that long because it's so creamy, but just as like an everyday throw in your bag lipstick, really great one. Do you hear that? It's so windy outside. So literally like butter on your lips. Alright, so that was all for my first impressions of the Cloven Hollow Sunrise Palette. Just to do a little overview, I feel like they're really pigmented. They blended well. I didn't have any problems with them like being patchy or not blending on top of each other. The shimmer shades are really gorgeous, especially when they're wet. They're super metallic. I don't really have any eyeshadows like them. So I think this is a really great versatile palette to pick up if you're just getting into Green Beauty. Or if you just need a good palette, I feel like this is a good one. I haven't seen any like warm tone palettes like this in the clean beauty space. 
that are around this same price. This would be the perfect palette if you're traveling as well. This would be like something I would take with me if I was going on vacation because I feel like you can make a ton of looks. You could do really natural or really glam, kind of just like everything you need in this one palette. So overall, I would recommend it. I think it's a fair price as well. I will definitely link it in the description below for you guys to check out. If you're heading to the Cloven Hollow website, I also totally recommend the concealer. This is my favorite concealer. I'm in the shade O2. If you guys are curious, I use this in like almost every makeup video. I also love their lip creams, which I use on my lips. And then I love their lip velvets as well. Cloven Hollow is a really great clean beauty brand and I am impressed with this palette. So I'm glad I decided to pick it up and review for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Also comment below if you guys have tried anything from Cloven Hollow. Let me know some of your favorites. I would love to know. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.